What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today, I guess I'm just covering more general of what I have been working on relating to Gecko Trading Bot. So if you're hoping to learn a spe about a specific technology, specific modification, I guess this video is not for you. So anyway, let's get right into it. One of the first things that I actually have been doing is just at this point, since I'm really working a full-time job and still trying to make a video for you guys, I really don't have time to um, make full modifications that I want to do, but there are still a lot of people like Mock-SCH that has been doing stuff with Green Gecko. Green Gecko is something that I covered uh, probably like at least four or five months ago, maybe even longer than that. So this is a uh, Mock's version of uh, Gecko that he's been playing with and he has made a lot of different changes So one thing you can see right off the bat is uh, the whole UI, this is the backtest view uh, It looks completely different than uh, what you see with the standard Gecko So and previously I covered how you can use uh, Telegram bot and his Telegram bot is a lot more um, advanced than the one that's included in the standard Gecko so that's definitely something that is a lot prettier compared to uh, and uh, compared to the standard version. So, but there is something called the Gecko Cloud integration that I really wanted to cover in today's video, but unfortunately, I just can't get to work. <laughs> it's not because you know something was wrong with it. It's just mostly because that you know <laughs> I haven't had enough time to actually figure out um, all the different changes and modifications that Mark has put in. But my understanding of the Gecko Cloud is that it is able to use signal information from other people that's also running Gecko Cloud. And then you're able to basically share that information with each other and be able to build a strategy or maybe use the strategy that Mark has created to help improve and uh, run a more successful strategy, basically by having like a, a Gecko that works with other Geckos. So it's very interesting. I definitely want to uh, get it to work and running it at, um, at some point. So, but I just want to show you right now, as of currently, when I try to get to work, I'm running into this particular error where it says, says connection failed. Uh, at this point, like I said, this followed the very basics and didn't really know what's going on. Didn't really understand what is it's trying to do. But uh, yeah, so I can't get it to work right now, but I'm definitely going to uh, research that more and just try to figure it out more. I mean, he has some instructions as well, as well. Oh, actually, before I go into the instructions, so this is um, the demo of the back test, and you can see it's actually an interactive demo, and it shows you how it looks like. So this is where it says buy, sell, buy, sell, and it's pretty cool to get you see the trade buy and sell much better than um, the standard Gecko back test, where you kind of have to like zoom in and out. Um, using the mouse, but it doesn't work that well, I remember. So this is a lot better, definitely. And it actually shows you all the different information too, the volume and and the different um, strat uh, indicators that's actually uh, being used by this particular strategy. So something that is uh, very interesting, like a lot of these things I definitely want to uh, get to work and uh, show you guys how to actually get to work so that you will um, be able to use it as well. So. Again, these are things I'm looking into, not actually things I got to work already at this point. So anyway, going into uh, th this particular strategy here, this is the cloud strategy that uh, Mark has written. And it's really just, if you see the config.cloud connector, so this portion is really what powers this strategy. Because this strategy itself, if you scroll further down, for example, it actually doesn't do anything, if I remember correctly. It just really relies on... Um, information from other people or other, other geckos actually to determine whether to buy or sell and actually I'm just looking at it right now this is the config file so this is not the actual strategy but as you can see the config file does uh, say that you have to uh, log in as a guest uh, and the password is guest in order to actually um, get the information but for some reason my version at least the one that I downloaded is not quite working gotta figure out why uh, so this is the actual strategy right here so this is the t5 cloud strat and it uses the Gecko Cloud. And again, from what I've read in uh, the Gecko Discord channel, Gecko Cloud has no relation to uh, Gecko Plus, which is something that Axe Mike, the creator of Gecko, has been working on. And actually, it's completely it's working at this point. So Gecko Cloud is completely separate from um, Gecko 
plus. It's just that uh, there might be some similarities. At least that's what even I thought of at, at one point. But then, uh, from according to Mark, anyway, this is com Gecko Cloud is completely separate from uh, Gecko Plus. That the only th the only thing in common is that they are both backed by the Gecko project, the open source project that Axe Mike has uh, created multiple several years ago. So uh, this is again the strategy in here. It's, again, requires on remote advice. It actually goes through and uh, requires the advice from other um, strategy, and it actually will decide what to do. So this here again, there's not much in here. There's really, <laughs> as you see, no need for stretch check. The, the, all these things actually, it's um, let's just say that mock change a lot <laughs> on how Gecko works because. I couldn't um, off the bat figure out a lot of different stuff because he has um, the way he has set up now a lot of the functions, a lot of the methods in um, that was used by Gecko is no longer used in the same way. Actually, he actually did, did that even in the green Gecko that I checked out like months ago. But uh, I would definitely have to revisit now that he has it. He added even more interesting functions like the, um, the Gecko Cloud function. So the next thing I'm looking into is uh, other people's stuff like the Gecko Python because uh, my current work, I actually I work with Python a lot. So Python is another programming language. It's more like a scripting language, not even a full programming language. If you uh, talk to my CTO, he um, obviously it's it's says something that it is much easier to uh, to write and set up much quickly compared to um, like C++ or some of the more uh, standard, what I would say is like a lower level language. Like, I mean, back then when I first started computer programming, at least in college, like assembly was the lower level language and C++ was the much more higher level. Anyway, but right now, yeah, we have uh, languages like um, Python, which is a very high level language. It just really lets you quickly create something. And um, this is one example right here, uh, Gecko Python, which lets you control other Gecko bots. So uh, this project is actually quite old from Moon Booster. It looks like he created it and last uh, updated in 2018. So that's last year. So uh, something that I want to at least look into, play around with, similar probably in some sense to like uh, Telegram bot, but uh, that uh, Green Gecko has. But then it also, it's this is uh, letting control multiple bots, as you can see in this uh, screenshot right here. So and there's some more detailed information for about Gecko Python. So uh, again, I know uh, I have gotten some comments from a couple of you guys. I will include all the links I talk about in here in the links down below, so you don't have to worry about you know actually hitting pause and then trying to copy off the link. I will include it down below. I know I haven't done that in all of my videos. I'm sorry about that, but uh, I'll definitely try to remember to going forward to include all the links I show on um, on my videos in the in the description down below. But so besides other stuff that people have been written uh, creating, I'm also looking at like strategy indicators, more like indicators that uh, people have been using. Well, this one's actually a Python TA library. So this is another Python thing that I'm also looking into. And that's for like indicators wise, like there's uh, seven popular te technical indicators and like things like articles like these where I look at it and I'm like okay I know there are other indicators that people use besides uh, RSI, MACD and uh, Bollinger Bands so I'm trying to look at like something like this like on balance volume or the uh, shake in money flow these things are potentially very useful indicators to actually incorporate into your strategies so I definitely want to look into and try to figure out how I can actually add that into um, Gecko so that's definitely this. There's also like a parabolic SAR. That's another indicator. It's like it's very easy to understand parabolic SAR when you read about it. So just definitely uh, check out this link and read read through it. But then the idea is these little dots will tell you how to when to buy and when to sell. <laughs> it's so so simple to read. It's ridiculous. But trying to use this in Gecko would be quite interesting. So um, what else are looking at in terms of indicators? So the top three favorites, something like um, Ichimoku. I think Ichimoku has been used. Uh, someone actually written a, in, uh, the indicator for Ichimoku on Gecko. I definitely have to try to find it somewhere and um, show you guys how to use it uh, in Gecko. And uh, our size, obviously, everyone knows how to use that. And volume. Volume is something that I covered in the past. So uh, I will 
if I don't have a full video on it, I might probably just create a video about using volume specifically with Gecko. Um, that's something that is, I think is quite important. I, I don't always use it, but like, um, I know I should. It's one of those things that you know where it's, um, well, actually, I think like one example, one video I created in the past was the video about um, creating a better back testing. Wait, the back test is not, not accurate in Gecko because of the fact that it doesn't check the volume. So it was like every single buy order that you put into a back test is immediately executed regardless of volume. And we all know that's never the case. And what my modifications in Gecko to incorporate the volume to make back testing not so ridiculously insanely profitable because it's just not the case. So anyway, um, using volume with Gecko live trading, something that I probably should still cover just because it's uh, it makes sense to use it. So um, and finally, another indicator I'm looking at is the CCI, the Commodity Channel Index. So many many indicators uh this one i'm actually not very familiar with i might have read through this article and i'm probably still not very familiar so um but something to really for me to look into anyway so all of these uh ideas projects indicators i am looking currently um, unfortunately i don't have anything for uh, today to really cover for you guys to show you what to do and step by step purpose step by step wise so anyway that's pretty much my video for today. Um, just want to remind you guys that I am on Patreon and I um, I only have one level of Patreon support at this point, just a $2 level, just so that you guys can uh, show your support. It's only $2 a month, it's not a lot, not basically, practically nothing. And it's just really, for me to like get a little motivated to, um, to write articles once a month and also to make videos for you guys as well. So, and just wanted to give uh, shout out to uh, Alejandro, Alejandro Jimenez, uh, and Batasale, and and Stefan P for being uh, my latest patrons. So uh, thank you very much for becoming my latest patrons, and also uh, obviously Poseidon. He still have been supporting me uh, throughout the month of June. So thank you very much for all of you guys, and uh, just want to um, let you guys know, like the. Basically, those articles I have written, um, I you know I believe they have been very helpful, at least to people that have been following. So there's this article that I've written back in January. So a best indicator that no one talks about, uh, essentially covering a indicator that uh, that I use specifically to tell me when um, when we flipped over from the bear to the bull market. And as of May fifth of this year, this was what what let's see, almost two months ago at this point. So um, that's when I even set up an alert to say that uh, end of the bear run indicated by DPO daily. So that was the indicator. So, but essentially, people that followed me in the in the past less than two months ago was you know received that information from me saying that I mean this is not financial advice, but this is based on the fact that I had a certain mindset in place, knowing what it takes for a reversal to happen. And I use that mindset along with this particular indicator. I've written out my thoughts in this article in here. And for people that listen, at least we're able to uh, take advantage of the fact that when I written this article, I think it was at least Bitcoin was at 5,000. So right now, as of this recording today, Bitcoin has doubled in value at $10,000. So that um, hopefully is a good enough reason for you guys to... Uh, support me and get these articles at two dollar a month so that's my video for today guys let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below like and subscribe if it isn't crypto it isn't worth mining it isn't worth speculating peace out